Hey everyone, uh, we're gonna do some packing tips tonight. You know, have you ever gone on a business trip and just didn't know how to do it? I know I certainly have uh, over the years, I've, I've traveled a lot and I've kind of streamlined what I need for a business trip. I have an upcoming trip to, to Boston and I uh, thought I'd show you my process of how to pack my suitcase and, and some tips just to help you out. Uh, for any of you new business travelers or, or getting back into the fold af after the pandemic, uh, hopefully this helps. So first and foremost, you want to plan ahead, right? I know I'm going to Boston this week, so it's cold, it's a little bit windy, I know the temperature is going to be in the 50s, and so I've planned accordingly with uh, some sweaters, I don't need a big heavy coat, it's not going to be rainy, but just plan ahead. And then what I've done... Uh, I, I did my laundry, right? It's, my mom would be so proud, uh, but get your laundry done ahead of time so you're not scrambling to get everything done. And then I like to lay everything out. Uh, so I, I have my, my shirts, my pants, uh, stuff I sleep in, and uh, you know my undergarments, things like that. Then it gives me a good idea of what I need to do. The other thing I do is I, I use packing cubes you can get them on Amazon or Target or wherever, and uh, they're super great. They keep everything nice and organized in, in your suitcase. Well, the first thing I do when, when packing, I always pack the stuff that I don't really need or I don't really care if it gets wrinkled. Uh, so, you know, I'll start with you know, my, my uh, wonderful pajamas, right? Just put them right in the, in the cube, right in the suitcase, uh, saves a tip. I pack a t-shirt, I may not need it while I'm out there because it's all business meetings, but it's good to have uh, if I wanna just walk around my hotel and, and not be in a button up shirt. Okay, so that's that. And then I pack backwards. So I, I think about, okay, what am I wearing on uh, Monday to fly out there? What am I wearing Tuesday? And then what, if, what am I wearing on Wednesday? And I'll pack, uh, Wednesday stuff first, then uh, Tuesday, and then obviously I'll wear my, my Monday clothes. So I have my stuff out, and uh, so you know I'll pack my jeans first because they can't get wrinkled uh, too well. So uh, just throw that right in the cube. And these cubes hold so much stuff, and they're, they're really great. Why, Josh, did you not pack your dress slacks uh, with your jeans? Well. Those will go in a little bit later uh, so they don't get wrinkled. So when I do my packing, I just like to make sure everything's nice and neat. One of the things that you're gonna, you're gonna know if you've traveled or not is things wrinkle, right? So when you get into the hotel, a lot of people just like throw their stuff in the, in the corner. I know, I know Christina really does not unpack at all, but I do and I think it's important because you're staying somewhere for a few days and it's good to just unpack so you can have some normalcy in your life. Especially if we, when you travel a lot, it's hard to have that normalcy. I know for, for years I was on the road every week and if I didn't unpack, and my life would feel that much uh, more stressful and, and all that. So I unpack, I hang up my stuff, uh, so usually when I get into a hotel, if I have some prep time, I'll iron my shirts, uh, just do a, a light iron. And uh, yeah, it, it just gives me a sense of calm and peace before the storm of traveling for business. So you'll see, oh, see, even I'm not perfect with this, but that's okay. Just nice and, and even. Uh, keep it really tight and then one of the things I do I alternate where the colors go So if I have a collar one way, I'll put it the other way. It helps with the wrinkles Okay Next uh, I'll pack some fun socks, you know, uh, the other thing that I don't like to overpack, right? So if I uh, If I'm packing I'll pack usually for one extra day just in case if there's any delays in, in uh, 
the airport or weather or I have to stay longer. It, it's just good to have. So that's what I do there. So pack my socks in there. Now I can put my dress slacks right on top. So it's nice and you want everything nice and flat and, and even. And then zip this up. And with a little bit of planning, you see it's not taking that long, right? So the next thing, so you can see this is what the, the cube looks like. This is all my stuff. It's not gonna move around in the in the plane. You know, put my shoes in. When you're traveling, if you don't know this, try to put your toiletries in uh, in a clear case. Airports don't always take them out uh, to inspect, but just one last step you have to worry about. And then I just got the the travel uh, the travel bottles. And why do I have so many uh, bottles in here? Well, because I have a beard and it takes time, right? The, this face doesn't just happen here, all right? You know, and then I have my undergarments. You don't need to see me packing those, okay? And so things are looking pretty good. I always bring some sandals because once again, when you're around the hotel after a long day, the last thing you wanna do is uh, <laughs> wear dress shoes. And then I'm going to some meetings and this was kind of a, a tip I learned. So I usually travel with the uh, backpack for the airplane, has my my computer, my tablet, my, uh, my chargers, things like that. But when I go to meetings, I don't wanna carry that. So I just always bring a, a flat uh, bag, uh, a, lap a laptop case to, to help with that. So I'll put that in. And see, everything's nice and, and even here. Now it comes to like my jacket and my uh, suit coat. So these are both items that I will need when I'm in Boston, right? So I just kind of make it like so. And then with the suit, I'm just taking a, uh, a coat this time. I'm not taking a full suit. So maybe another video, I'll show you how to uh, travel with the suit. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but so I just kind of, you, you don't want any creases. You don't want any uh, hard lines except for the, the collar. Okay. And then I wanted to just showcase this thing. We have uh, Apple devices, but really any, any device works with this. This is great. You can uh, put your AirPods or headphones, you can charge your phone, you could charge your watch, all right here, and it's just perfect. You can get this. I think we got this at, at Costco or, or, no, we got this at the Apple store. So that, that's fun. And then, you know, just kind of make sure things are, are buttoned in. Okay, like so. Of course I have that. And with these hard top suitcases, it doesn't really matter what side. Sometimes I, I put the suit coat and the jacket on the other side, but that's fine. I still have a couple more things and then we close it. And when I travel, I don't like to check bags. It takes a lot more time. And uh, yeah, so I always try to do a carry on. So just some things to remember, don't overstuff, plan ahead, you know, understand where you're going, the environment, pack from uh, the last day to the first day and hang up your stuff, put things away so you feel at home while you're traveling. All right, I hope you enjoy this and get to traveling.